Hello, everyone, and welcome to the episode of Todd Talks. When Todd talks, people listen because you are the real heroes. Hopefully, I hope you're new, I hope you're a real hero. So you might notice that I am in a different spot currently. Yeah, um, a lot's happened in the last few days. <laughs> um, I am currently at my parents' house. In fact, we're in the guest room right now at my parents' house. That's why we have a panda over there and Anna over there. And uh, my PC, let's just say it's not working, and maybe that's that. But I need to get this video done because I don't know when I'm going to get my PC back today, if I'm even getting it back today at all. Anyway, so with this, we are going to be talking about uh, Homeland, oh, sorry, Omni-Man versus Homelander. And I was right. As if there was any doubt. I mean, seriously, if you, if you saw the G1 blog, they were, they said, who's rooting for Homelander or who's picking Homelander? Literally everyone who's picking Omni-Man, or sorry, Omni-Man, literally everyone who's picking Homelander, LOL. Yeah. Sorry. Weird printer. I hate, I've always hated this printer. It's, the, it's making a bunch of noises and I have no, no idea why. Screw you, printer. Probably a bot printer. Uh, anyway, but yes, the uh, death battle has come around with Omni-Man versus Homelander. Omni-Man won, much as, like, much as I and everyone pretty much predicted. And uh, that makes me three and two for this season. So I, I started out terribly, but I'm reeling them back. So are all good. Now, uh, the the death battle itself was actually really fun, and I honestly appreciated what they did with not spoiling a lot of things. Because even though preview videos like mine were very much about you know giving you all the details so we could tell you why we're picking someone or something, uh, or telling you something about them specifically, they knew wisely that a lot of people have only gotten into Invincible and The Boys because of the Amazon series, which is fair. I mean, I, I knew of Invincible, like, because of certain articles that were written about, but I never read them. And I had honestly never heard of The Boys until the TV show came around. So, I mean, I'm a comic guy, so what are you going to do? But uh, I appreciated how they pulled from both the comics and the cartoon and the live action series uh, for the respective series. And then, you know, lightly, <laughs> lightly touched on things. And that was cool because, again, some people aren't going to read the comics or do deep dives on wikis like me and all, all the other death battle. Mm, sorry. All the other death battle people. So why not keep it light? You know, why not just let people explore at their own pace and that was actually really cool so I, I definitely appreciate that especially the ending with homelander it was something you can control pushes the sun through or not <laughs> good stuff uh i i do wish though that they could have done the like the voice acting or sorry the the audio clip so we could get the think mark think or uh you know i will end all of you you know that kind of thing i'm fine with them not doing it uh, the fight itself was everything that I know a lot of you hoped it would be. It was violent. It was bloody. <laughs> it ended with a man eating his own heart. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Look, I saw a lot of you uh, between my video and uh, the comments online begging for a massively brutal Homelander death. And that's exactly what we got. So I am grateful. Uh, you should be grateful, I should say that you you got what you want uh my only complaint and it, it's, i think it's a fair complaint uh, about the battle itself was that it felt quick which is odd because i checked and it was over three minutes but about a minute of that was just them talking in the house you know uh you know homelander speech and i'm gonna be, i'm gonna feed you your own heart you know that took a while to get to the actual fight now once we got to the fight it was fun i mean I liked the the way the scenery went. I liked how they you know showed it off, you know, Homelander's powers and just how Omni Man could just take it. Uh, the voice acting was great. I very much enjoyed the voice acting and the references to everything. So uh, that was really cool. And I know that part of the problem here is that because it's a hand drawn style, it takes a lot longer than a three i mean 3d battles and 2d battles or sprite fights take a long time no doubt but hand-drawn animation always takes longer because you're doing it you know frame by frame by frame so uh i can understand why they had to you know kind of compress things and i respect that but it was still a really cool looking fight especially that ending oh my gosh that ending uh but yeah 
that was a, that was a very fun fight. Omni Wayne won three wins in a row now. Uh, and now next week we're going to try and go for four because we have Magneto from X-Men, a character long requested for Death Battle, versus Tetsuo from Akira, who is which is yet another franchise that's making its debut in Death Battle this year. So we've already had a, quite a bit. We see we had League of Legends, we had a Demon Slayer, we had uh, let's see. So, so yeah, we, this is home. And then we had uh, Invincible and The Boys. And am I missing one? I feel like I'm missing one. No, I guess not. So, but yeah, so we, we've already had quite a few new franchises in here. Um, I have, I know you're going to hate me. I've never seen Akira. I'm sorry. I know, I know of it. I know like the classic, you know, uh, motorcycle sliding scene because it's referenced everywhere. But uh, I have never watched it, so I don't know about Tetsuo and his abilities in full. Uh, obviously, I know about Magneto because I've read about him and watched him an infinite amount of times via the X-Men media. So uh, I, this is going to be interesting to research. And it should be a fun fight. We'll have to see. All right, and with that, I'm in this episode of Todd Talk. What did you think of this new room? I mean, I'm liking it. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Trust me, this is... Oh, this is for my nieces. If you if you really can't tell, I've got nieces, and this is their room when they when they come over. But uh, I hope to be back at my PC <laughs> in two weeks' time. If I don't get by today, I'm gonna be freaking out. But uh, uh, what did you think of the, the death battle between Omni Man and Homelander? Uh, did you like the the animated fight? Did you like the very bloody ending? And uh, what do you expect with Magneto versus Tetsuo? Let me know in the comments below. So I uh, thank you for watching with me as far. I know you were listening, and I'll see you around.